In the last few videos, we used some of the WinCC three script functions. Today we will be using get tag float functions of the C script to, manip to manipulate some real values or floating point data. Get tag float function is used. You can see on the HMI, I have shown the oil tank level in percentage rather than the real actual value. So this has been made possible because of the get take float function of the C script. If I go to the logic over here, if I monitor the program, the scale of the oil tank level is, bit, is from 0 to 25. And the hex value that is coming from the field through the analog input card has been scaled between 0 and 25. And the result is stored in the double word that is MD2 and that is 22.14. So I want to manipulate this value on the HMI to, to, show, the, to show the tank level in percentage. I will demonstrate it now in the video. Right? So in the first place, let me show you the hardware configuration. I have added an analog input card. If I monitor it through simulator, I have given it a, a dummy value that is the 5FAC in this case. So the oil level is scaled according to the logic. If I go to the logic, as I showed you, 22.14 is the actual value of the oil tank level on the scale of 0 to 25. I want to show it into the percentage. So in the first place, you need to add the MD2 into the tag management section of the WinCC. Go to the tag management section. I have already added the my desired tag that is the oil level. I gave it the name oil level. But let me give uh, let me delete it and edit all the way from the beginning. The data type is floating point 32 bit. Well, and the address is MD2, right? Bit memory, double word, 2. Okay. The MD2 variable has been successfully added to the tag tags of the WinCC. I will cancel it. Go to the graphics designer. I have already opened it. And I have made some settings of the font and colors. Go to the properties of the IO field. This is the IO field. Output input section. And in the output value, I have attached a C script. I will delete it and will rewrite this code for you. Right click, see action. That value that I'm actually manipulating now is a floating point value. That is the MD2 in this case. And I updated it in the tag management section as well. In the internal functions tags, get get tag float. Double click on it. Tag selection oil level. MD2, right? I will define two new float variables, float A and B. First, I will assign the returned value that is the get 
stake float oil level from the this this function get take float will fetch the value of the oil level variable that is the md2 the value now in this case is i can see is 22.14 so uh, th this function will get the md2 value which i have named as oil level and will store in the variable a right then i have to convert it into percentage so i will assign the mathematical calculated mathematically calculated value to b that will be the percentage value a multiply by 100 and divide by 25 so whatever the value is would be scaled to percentage and i will return b because b is the percentage value now this is simple mathematics to convert the real value from the oil tank level sensor to percentage so i will compile zero errors and zero warnings okay now i have associated a script with the output value that script if i look it again use get take float function get take float function gets the value of oil level that is the md2 variable uh, and then after making or doing some mathematics converts the value of the oil tank to the percentage and return the percentage value to this point and the percentage value now will be displayed in the io field the field type i convert it to output only i will save the changes and if i go to runtime 88.6 is the percentage value if i take the calculator 22.14 is the value the real value on the scale of 0 to 25 i'll divide it by 25 and multiply by 100 so 88.56 that has been rounded up to 88.6 so pretty simple right i will give you give you an, another example to show the actual value of the oil tank level on the hmi so let's go to the graphics designer once again i'll copy it i will paste it this time around i do not make any mathematical calculations to my value and i display it as it is and since this is not the percentage the second value meters go to the properties of this io field delete script c action go to the internal functions take get take float oil level good float a and i will assign the get take float function return value to a and in the end i will return a compile no errors and warnings my script has been successfully attached to this io field
save the program save the changes go to the runtime 22.1 meter which is the value I can look in the I can observe in the logic as well in the PLC program as well that is 22.14 so that was the simple procedure of uh, using the git take float function of NCC C script to manipulate floating point values so if you have any question about it you can surely ask me in the comment section bye for now and see you in the next video